Well, I have the honor of introducing our very first speaker this evening. It's Sarah Castleman from the Sexual Assault Support Center. Sarah. When Diane was 16, she'd endured all she could. The assaults were becoming more aggressive and something needed to shift. One morning, she stayed home from school and mustered up courage for a conversation with her mom. Diane's words hung in the air. Your husband is raping me. The next day, while her stepfather sat in his recliner, her mom packed up her belongings and told Diane to leave. It would take years and a suicide attempt for Diane to reach out to us at the Sexual Assault Support Center. We're there when someone's experienced the darkest time in their life. In the post-Me Too era, our center's been flooded with calls for support. Jean Gameshi, Bill Cosby, Harvey Weinstein, sexual assaults in the military, in the RCMP, on college campuses, concerns over police responses to sexual assaults, headline after headline. And with each, more survivors spoke out. We're on the front lines of this cultural shift locally. Five years ago, 40 survivors on a wait list would have been a crisis. Now we have 140. It's our new normal. As a sexual assault support center, we wrap survivors in community care. Our support's free, and it doesn't come with time limits. And for 30 years, our motto's been, you're not alone. In the post-Me Too era, we need your help to say this with confidence to survivors. Diane reached out at a time without wait lists. She called her 24-hour support line. She got counseling. She attended groups. Our volunteers went to the police station with her to report. And when the time came, a member of our staff team was by her side in court. The Seeds Our Center Planet took root. Diane went back to school, graduating in 2017. She's now a social service worker, a mother, a partner, and a volunteer in our public education program. So my ask to you, first, do you know a survivor who's struggling? Please put them in touch with us. We exist to help. Second, take your ballot and mark a checkbox beside the Sexual Assault Support Center. Your vote tonight and a monthly gift of $100 will ensure support is there for one survivor when they reach out. We asked Diane what it would have been like to be added, added to a year-long wait list. She said it would have confirmed that she wasn't important, that yet again she wasn't believed, that she wasn't worth it. Diane, will you stand? If you believe that Diane and the survivors waiting are worth it, I invite you to stand right now in solidarity. Thank you.